Hey guys, what we've got here today is the full low angle plane set from Melbourne Tool Company. We've got the jack plane, smoothing plane, and block plane. And in this video, I'm just gonna show you how to disassemble and clean these planes and get them ready for use. Now I'm gonna be completely honest here. I have never set up one of these planes before or even this style of plane. When I was teaching for the past 20 years or so, the only planes we used were the standard old Stanley planes. And to be honest, when you're teaching 150 kids a week, don't really have time to set them up so precisely. So we were basically just getting planes out of the box, giving the blades a quick sharpen on a wet stone grinder. And that was that. We didn't really set them up properly for the, for the kids to use because time just was, wasn't available. So I'm excited to do this for the first time and uh, let's see how we go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just disassemble these planes completely and give them a good cleaning. And to do that, I'm just gonna use standard methylated spirits in a rag. And I'm not going to go into too much detail about the names of all the different parts. That's not what this video is for. I'm just gonna show you a quick clean down here. So these planes are fresh out of the box. I've just unwrapped them out of their packaging and they are just covered in a little bit of a protective film or grease or lubricant of some sort. And I just want to break these down and get that all off. And with this bit here, I'm not going to clean too much of the grease off there because I want to keep a little bit of lubricant on the thread. And that's going to go with all of these sections here where there's thread. Okay, I'm just going to leave all of that. Um, I will clean around the top though, on the knob. Now the, the plane's broken down and all the parts are clean now. Um, one thing I did notice when I was doing this is that these edges here along here, they're actually quite, they're almost to the point where they're quite sharp. So what I'm going to do is I just want to deburr that edge a little bit. Um, and what I think I might do for that, um, I've got a granite block here set up. This is a, this is a tour cutter um, granite block from Timbercon. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray a little bit of lubricant. I'm just going to use Bow Shield here onto that block. And then I'm just going to run the edges along here just to see if I can get a bit of that burr off. And that's actually worked quite well. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the other side. Now time to put it back together and see how flat this sole is. Forgot how it went together then, have to check the other one. Alright, so that is the jack plane put back together. Now it's all clean and serviced and ready to go. What I need to do now is check how flat this sole is. If I look along here there shouldn't be there shouldn't be any gaps. And to be honest that looks that looks pretty good straight out of the box. Just gonna have a quick check across the diagonals. Yep, and that's, that's all pretty good. So that's the basic steps there, guys, of setting it up and getting ready to go, cleaning and flattening the sole. The only other thing I'm gonna do, just quickly before I go on to cleaning the other two planes here, is just adding a very, very, very thin, thin layer of wood wax over the whole plane. A very, very thin layer. And what this is gonna do is protect the surface a little bit, make it run a bit smoother, stop uh, a little bit of any surface rust or anything building up. Um, I just I'm like I just like using this wood wax. Um, I've just been recently informed as well that uh, any wax or lubricant will do as long as it doesn't have silicon in it. So if it's any silicon based products, 
try to avoid, or actually don't try to avoid, absolutely avoid using those, those products. Um, so yeah, once you've given the whole thing a coat of wax, it's going to preserve it a little bit longer, make it run a little bit smoother. Okay, and that's that. That's setting up the plane, getting it clean, flattening the sole. And if you stick around for a few future videos, we'll move on to getting some blades nice and sharp and put into these things and see how they actually work. Okay, I'll see you next time.